Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. I have a new episode today in the Finding Free to Use Images series that I'm doing. If you haven't seen the other videos in the series, I will put a link to the playlist down in the description box. But let's jump right in because it's something really exciting that happened today. Smithsonian released many, many, many images, many, many 2D and 3D items into the public domain under the CC0, that is the Creative Commons Zero License, which is public domain. And that means that everything that they have released under that CC0 license is free for you to download, free for you to use, free for you to use in your own artwork that you're going to sell, even if it's a digital creation. You do not have to ask permission from the Smithsonian to use these items. You do not have to do any attributions on your projects, giving credit to the Smithsonian or anybody else. So this is just really exciting to have all these new images available for us. So I just want to take you real quick over to the site, show you how to navigate and download, and then you can go off and have a good time. Um, I will put the link, direct link to this down in the description box below, but you're going to go to si.edu and they've got this little screen you can just arrow through until you find Smithsonian Open Access. That's what you want. Download, share, and reuse. Yay! Nearly 3 million 2D and 3D digital items from all the Smithsonian collections, not just a single museum, but from lots of their locations. So this will tell you a little bit more about it. It's open access, which we visited a few other museums that also use that same terminology. And open access is what means that they are releasing it under that CC0 license, which is what we love to see. So you can read around here if you want to read a little bit more about it. But if you want to search easily for things and put in a few search restrictions so that you can get to where you want to go a little bit quicker, don't use this search bar here. Click here. Collections Search Center, and you've got a little bit of filtering options that you can do. All right, so I'm going to come over here and I want to search, y'all know me, I want to search for something about dogs. So I'm just going to put dog in there and click the search button. And I'm going to get a lot of results back. I want to make sure though, see what comes up because I've come to this uh, more advanced search page here. I have the options to only return results with the CC0 media. So that means I'm only going to see things that I know that I can reuse and sell without any issues. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to click apply. And so I had 34,314. Now it comes down to only 4,023 documents, but that's okay because I know that these are ones that I can use. Now I can go down here through the list if I want or I can choose up here instead of viewing as a list, I can view it as tiles. and I'm going to see all the pictures there and look at that right here CC0 boom CC0 boom we can use these these did not do real good as far as dog but who knows what they've got in the descriptions here so I'm gonna narrow down my search a little bit more by type click on that and I want prints so I've got 103 prints that are available to me and I come over here and they are all C dogs, CC0 enabled, and prints. So I come down here and things look a little bit more like what I was looking for. So here we have Puck Magazine. We see a lot of those beautiful images coming up, and it's the man and the dogs here. Back from 1821 to 1885 was the sitter. Here was the artist. All that great information. But here's what we want to know, right? We want to be able to get it. We've got that CCC, CC0 license. Look for the little cloud with that download arrow. And you can either just get the small screen image, the thumbnail image, get more information about the metadata. Let's click on that screen image and it's over here, boom, it was downloaded for me. Some of them you can get in an even larger size. Let's go back to my search. Let's see what else we've got here. Uh, clip ahead here to page three. What have we got? Oh, I like this. What was that? It disappeared. Disappeared. 
This is a textile. So this is somebody's needlepoint that they did, but that is really cool. So if I wanted to uh, do a needlepoint of an old dog picture, I could download that. But I'm not excited about that one, so I don't need to download it. Here we've got, eh, I'm not super excited yet. That's okay. Let's go instead of from prints, we're going to remove that filter and let's see, let's look at drawings and see what we get. Oh, now we've got some sketches. Look at this two women in an Italian landscape and they have a dog there with them. Isn't that beautiful? So that's an oil painting that is gorgeous. And again, we've got that CC0 license available to us. It gives you all this information if you want to keep that, but know that you can go ahead and download it and use it. And look at all these options. High resolution TIFF, high resolution JPEG, just a little screen image, all that stuff. So I can click that right there and boom, downloaded it. So that is the new adventurous journey we have in searching for images at the Smithsonian. I am super excited to explore what else is out there. Let's see, uh, what are we always looking for? We're always looking for butterflies, right? Let's just put in a single butterfly and see what we've got. You know, and you can play around with the type that you're looking for. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. We've got birds and butterflies. You can play around with, you know, these are under just drawings. I could take that out. You could look for um, broader terms just for botanicals. This is pretty. Let's pull this up here. This was a pen and ink drawing back from the 1800s. Waiting, waiting. There it is. Look at that. Very pretty. So what options do we have? We do this. We can get a very nice high screen high resolution uh, JPEG that would be plenty big enough for us to manipulate in our graphic programs and play with for us to print out on our printers and use in our journals or other mixed media and various art projects. So if you want to search for things that are created in a certain time period, culture, you've got lots of search options. Just the trick is to not use that first search box that shows up on the main screen, but to go to that advanced search fun function. So that's what I have for you today. Check out the new images available to us from the Smithsonian Institution. Thank you, Smithsonian, for making these available to us under the CC0 license. And just, you know, put that in your search thing so you know that you've got the, license, the correct license right there and you are good to go. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Check out the rest of the Finding Free Images video series and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.